But in this part, I will share as an ordinary user to explain why we should use Dolphin Scheduler and how to use it step by step. Hello, everyone. I'm Jay Cha. I'm the Apache Dolphin Scheduler TMC member and committer. Also, I'm the data engineer and well ops. You can contact me via Twitter or GitHub. Mostly, I will online in GitHub. This pre presentation is about Dolphin Scheduler introduction. And the first thing I want to talk about is what is Dolphin Scheduler. Before talking about Dolphin Scheduler, I would like to talk about workflow first because workflow is closely linked to Dolphin Scheduler. You know, Dolphin Scheduler is a toy for workflow orchestration. The definition of workflow is the sequence of steps to finish the work from initiation to complete. Yes, that's it, but it's just a definition. We still don't know what exactly workflow is, even though we know the meaning of each word in the sentence. So let's give an example about workflow in our real life. You know, we all like examples. Uh, how about we give an example about how can I go to work every day? Every day I go to work by bike. The, the step I separated into four steps. First of all, I have to go downstairs and then I, I have to go to bus station. During this time, I may wait for the bus coming. When the bus is coming, I have to go get on the bus and the bus will take me to our company. When I arrive at our company, I have to get off the bus. And that's it. That's a typical workflow in our real life. As you can see, the job I have, I have to do is separating into four, four steps. And each of them is sequency. I, I cannot skin anyone to get my job done. So workflow is that. And as you know, Dolphin Scheduler is a workflow or situation toy. So what is workflow? So what is Dolphin Scheduler? Uh, here is a brief introduction in Dolphin Scheduler website. It's a distribution and as it as, as tensible workflow scheduler platform with powerful DAG virtual interface. It can use four keywords to explain what, what is Dolphin Scheduler. The first word I want to describe is workflow scheduler platform. Uh, as a as a above example, we can know what is workflow is, and we have a uh, real examples about the workflow. But what is the uh, the platform is? The platform is do all thing I should do, but I do not like to do it, and to make sure my workflow can be done. You know, the work the platform is make people lazy, and give more job to the platform. It can do the complete dependencies. Also, it can, it can help us to eliminate the resource. And when the test fail, it can do the retries job and send alert to essential users. When we try to, when we try to correct our data in data warehouse, it can do the bad for job. Also, we can mention our workflow and the platform will explore matrix to us. And that's what for scheduler platform is. The second keyword I want to talk about is powerful DAG virtual interface. As William talked about, the first, the first choice we use in Dolphin Scheduler is Jack and Joe. So you can see the Jack and Joe is the first function we want to 
Troy, we want to create a workflow. But Dolphin Scheduler is not only drag and draw. It can only, it can also use in API, both Python API and Open API. And I will give an example in the later letters. Besides, we also support YAM de definition, means you can define a workflow bus YAM file. And the next keyword I want to talk about is this is distribution. It means high available and performance. Because Dolphin Scheduler is a decentralized decentralization. So we can explore our cluster sensitive. Also, it's native HA queen. It means it can handle a lot of the tasks. And the, the four word I want to talk about is, is tensible. In Dolphin Scheduler, we have 14 tasks. Also, we support 11 data source in Dolphin Scheduler. It means you have a lot of choice in Dolphin Scheduler. Whatever you use as a data warehouse or you use in ML ops. After in, introduce Dolphin Scheduler, so we will tell you how to create your very first workflow step-by-step. Step. It's very useful for, great, for the new one. Uh, first of all, you have to log in the Dolphin Scheduler web UI, and then you can go to the project tab. During the project tab, there is a workflow definition tab. Click it, and then you click the create workflow button to create your very first workflow. In this time, workflow only in your pace. It's not sent, it's, it's not, send to the database and the next next step you have to create your test in the workflow you can see the next picture you can drag and draw the shell task into the platform and then you fill the parameter of the task in this example we use the no name and the scrappy for the shell task. And then we can use the same way to create multiple tasks. In this example, we create four of the tasks. Both of them are the shell tasks. After create the task, we have to make the dependencies because the workflow is a DAG. DAG means the task and the dependencies. Just like the task creating, we, we use drag and draw to create the dependencies of task. After the task dependency is created, we have to save our workflow into the database. You can easier to click the save button in the left. And then you only need to fill your workflow name and click the config. Confirm, and the workflow will save in the database. After the workflow create, you can trigger it or and online the workflow. It's also very easy. You can click. You you have to first click the online workflow to make the workflow online, and then click the second button. It's the trigger by hand. After click, it will draw a new tag law. You can change the runtime, workflow runtime permission, and then click the confirm. That the workflow will be run. Okay, let's, let's recap it. First of all, we have to create a project because in Dolphin Scheduler, all the workflow belong a single project. 
And then we can drag and draw to create a workflow and then create a task and a task definition for it. After all the workflow element is settled down, we can click the save and click the online and trigger the workflow by, by ourselves. And that's it. That's, a, that's how Dolphin Scheduler create a workflow vast a web UI. But besides the creating, we have to monitor our workflow. If the when the workflow is finished or the workflow is running, we can click the workflow instance button and it will show all the workflow instance in our page. During the page, you can click one of your interesting workflow workflow instance. And then you can see the task instance in the workflow instance. If you want to see any task log, you can click the one and click the view log button. It will show as my screen sharing log here. So after I introduce, you can see it's very easier in Dolphin Scheduler to create a workflow was drag and draw. But as I talk about, Dolphin Scheduler not only can create workflow was web UI, it could, it could also was API such as uh, Python API and Open API. And in this part, I will give a brief introduction about Python API. It, what Python API is and how to use it to create your first very first workflow. A Python API, aka Py, Py Dolphin Scheduler, is a Python API for Apache Dolphin Scheduler, which allow you to define your workflow by Python code, aka workflow as code. The the key the core concept of Py Dolphin Scheduler is same as Dolphin Scheduler. It has the project, the workflow, the task, and the task definition, and the task relation. And the different thing is the, we create, we use drag and draw to create our workflow during web UI. But in Python API, it all can be done by code. As you can see, the left picture. Uh, we first of all we import all we need in the Python API. In this example, we import process definition and the shell task. After all the things import, we can we have to declare what what, what our workflow like. We have to name our workflow. In this. In this example, the workflow name tutorial. And we have to set the scheduling, scheduling time and the is start time. Besides, we have to set the tenant to, to tell Dolphin Scheduler how to run this workflow and who can run it. Besides that, we declare four tasks with shell, shell task type. Each of the tasks just equal the simple string. For example, the task primary just equal the hello PyDolphin scheduler string in our console, controller. And that is how PyDolphin scheduler declare the task. If after the task, after the task declare, we have to set the task relationship just like we do in web UI. In PyDolphin scheduler, we can use by ops or the set relation or set downstream function to set the relationship about task. After all done, we have to tell PyDolphin scheduler, we have to run the workflow in the last as you can see. The, 
the way to trick the do Pi Dolphin scheduler is also easy. We can just use the Python in our terminate to call this function and this files. Uh, after this, uh, after this file call, we can go to our web UI to see what workflow we has we have just created, and the workflow is like the right side. We can see, we can see one task as a primary, and and the the other three is is dance downstairs downstream. Okay, let's talk about how how yum define workflow. Uh, currently, yum define is a function bounding into PyDolphin scheduler. It means when if you would like to use yum definition to create workflow, you have to install PyDolphin scheduler first. It can convert the yum file to workflow. And let Dolphin Scheduler know what it what it what it is and how to trigger it. The definition of YAM defined is, is as left picture show. You can see it's very similar. It's very it's just like the we we, we define in type of scheduler. It has two it have two sections. The first session is the Workflow. We have to tell Dolphin Scheduler what the workflow like and how to trigger it, like the scaling time. And the second part is the task. We we also declare four tasks in our Py definition. And when the when we submit the YAM file to Dolphin Scheduler, it will also create the workflow like we we just create in vast Python scheduler because the definition of done is the same. So you can see, Python scheduler can create workflow in both web website web UI and API. It's very useful. And in this session, I want to talk about why Dolphin Scheduler is useful. And for the ordinary user, why we should choose Dolphin Scheduler as our workflow or situation. Uh, the, 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 the first and the biggest uh, difference between Dolphin Scheduler and the other workflow or situation is we not only for engineers, uh, as we can see in the in currently and and maybe we should we should talk it as a modern data stack. Then there are the common workflow scheduling system uh, is only provide a programming programming time, you know, just like the Python API do. User can only uh, user can only create a workflow with the API, but the Dolphin scheduler is not only for engineer. We can not only create from web UI, but also with API. We we prove we prove the user friendly web UI, and also the API. So. It means it's a good choice for your company. If you have both developer and no developer who want to create and manage your workflow. As I know, there's many company only create workflow by engineer, but some of them maybe has other choice. They want to uh, create, create by not develop. I think it's the biggest difference between Dolphin Scheduler and the other workflow or situation. And the second time, and the second part, uh, William also talking about this. Uh, it's because Dolphin Scheduler not only supports bench workflow, 
it's all it's also supports real-time workflow. Uh, as we know, during this day, the increasing of data efficiencies is a requirement. And we have a lot of real-time workflow to in, in our data warehouse. And we can see both Azkaban and Airflow is focused on the batch workflow. But in our Dolphin scheduler, we do not only support batch workflow, we also support the real-time one. So I can see in many company has two toys to handle real-time job and the batch job. Uh, the not same level toys will cause a problem when the workflow connect and if you want to get the line edge between the workflow because the different system means we, we cannot easier to get the data, data line edge. We have to uh, do more job between the two systems. But Dolphin Scheduler provided bench workflow and real-time workflow out of box, which means you can finish your job in the single toys. And you can only, you, you can only, you, you have one screen to monitor your workflow. And yes, that's about ML ops. Uh, most of the most of the workflow or situation are focused on data warehouse. Uh, as William talking about, we as Apache project, we have many project, top level project to handle data warehouse job like Hadoop and Hive. But we found out we found out some of our users rely to do the ML ops job in the data in the workflow or situation. Oh, let me introduce what is ML ops first. Uh, it's, the, it's, it's about deploy and maintain the machine learning model in product, production. It means the user want to easy to deploy or training the machine learning models. And since Dolphin Scheduler 3.1, we support ML ops by task and by the features. And in the in the future version, maybe in 3.2, maybe in 3.2, we will support more feature, not only the task, but also the, the features like the fire crash and the the task the 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 the, the task we run in our dolphin scheduler and in currently some teams use different toys for data warehouse and ml ops just like the batch batch workflow and real time workflow they use the two different systems so it may miss the same problem if they want to get the tools to sys to if they want to get the data line edge between two systems. And I think it's waste of the time because we can do it in the same system with Dolphin Scheduler. And it's a simple the simple toy means we can not only train in our modeling training our machine learning model, but also the data preparation job can be done in Dolphin Scheduler. And we can pass the data smooth, smoothly to our machine learning model. And the, the last thing I want to talk about is unwell expansion. Uh, as I know, some of the workflow or situation have to dis distribute fire when they is expansion. But in Dolphin Scheduler, all our data is strong in database. So when the new workflow is created, 
there are no there are no delay and which means you can run it directly and when you expansion no fire is required to distribute to the new node for example if we run a dolphin scheduler cluster and our task is increasing in this time we want to expansion our worker task the dolphin scheduler worker task and other workflow or situation have to distribute distribute the deck file to the new workflow node but dolphin scheduler do not do not need it which means you can save your time when you do some expansion job. And that's all I, I want to, that, that's all I want to talk about Dolphin Scheduler about the ordinary users. And why should they choose Dolphin Scheduler? And what, how Dolphin Scheduler create the workflow step-by-step. Step. And the next part, I will talk about the communication. Uh, as an open source project, we know that the community is very important because most of the bug is most of the bug can be found during the during the community, during the and mo and we have many feature requests. We can make our product more useful and easy to use. So in this page, we will show you the, the users the, of Dolphin Scheduler. We can see we have the software and technology like IBM and VMware. Also we have the SQL. Uh, we have the social network like Tencent and the electronic commerce like Shein or for deal. Uh, beside the users, the integration of the Dolphin scheduler is very important because we want to we want to give the our users a out of box workflow or situation. We already getting many uh, open source workflow or date uh, systems. You can see the spa and the thing is, is already in Dolphin Scheduler, which means you can uh, handle the spa or frame job very easy. And also we, we, we support the ML ops related relative systems like PyTouch and ML4. Uh, we also support the, the, the crowd native uh, in 3.0. Like we support many AWS tasks in Dolphin Scheduler. And the last thing I want to talk about is how to contest R. Uh, if, you has, if you have trouble in when you using Dolphin Scheduler, you can contact us easily via a slide. And we have the channel name troubleshooting. And when you post the message to the slide, we will answer you first. And that's for the users. Uh, if you are a developer, you can join our developer email, Open Scheduler developer email. It, it, it is on the sharing. And you can report the bar and post your feature request in the mailing list or in GitHub issue or even in GitHub pull request if you're interested about it. Uh, besides that, in the dev, in the developer mailing list, we will discussion the features or the roadmap in Dolphin Scheduler and it's welcome to subscribe and that's all. Thanks.